What's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster back here on this, uh, what is it, Wednesday already? February 1st, first day of February 2023. It's about 11.37 a.m. here along the West Coast. 1.0 earthquake showing up on the globe as the latest quake there. Uh, we did see some activity ramping up here around the Philippines overnight. Uh, let's go ahead and check it out on the latest flat scale model Earth here. Over here just uh, into the Philippine Trench. Very, actually, very shallow earthquake. Uh, 6.0 coming in about 2.44 in the morning. My time. Uh, since then, we've seen a little bit of aftershock activity uh, around that 6-pointer with a 4.6. But uh, seems as though things starting to kick back up a little bit to our north here. Uh, if you remember, we've seen quite a bit of swarming down here. A lot of earthquake activity around the Maluka Sea recently. Um, a quick glance at that. Uh, area shows mostly smaller quakes in this area today and uh, actually looks like a lot of that is from uh, uh, last night and yesterday so looks like uh, things may be coming to a halt for this area as far as some Lucas Sea earthquake activity uh, some movement down into the Indonesia region with a 4.1 as well this one uh, relatively deep at um, 163 kilometers deep that 4.1 is not showing up down here on the USGS map though unfortunately uh, looks like some activity also around the Indonesia area Java Trench got uh, little, two earthquakes at least being reported here 4.6 and a 4.4 making uh, its way around this area now still lacking activity up here around this region of the plate boundary gonna keep an eye on that I still think we're uh, should be filling that in pretty quickly uh, not a whole lot going on further east along the uh, Tonga Trench, Kermadec Trench area. A lot of this quake activity from yesterday. Notice the, uh, the red color rings and nothing showing up here across the USGS map currently uh, for earthquake activity. One yesterday afternoon, that was at 5.0. So things, um, I don't know, starting to mellow out a little bit here along the western Pacific. Nothing going on across the uh, Japan area or the Kurokamchaka Trench. That's uh, also verified here on the map on the EMSC model. Here's that same area around the Mariana Trench northward. All very quiet. Uh, further west here, uh, got a little bit of activity. I think this two-pointer kicking up in uh, Switzerland, if I remember correctly. Just coming in. Yep, 2.0 at uh, about two kilometers deep for this earthquake. Definitely not a big earthquake, but uh, occasionally they do they do get some uh, quakes up there. Uh, also 3.5, the latest here around the Mediterranean region, it looks like. Uh, let's see what else we got. There's 4.6 that came in, Greece area, about 2 in the morning or so. All right, Atlantic Ocean, one earthquake here being reported. That one from yesterday. I don't think we've seen anything else popping up here across the Atlantic. It all looks pretty calm and clear. Not a whole lot of activity. 3.6 coming in right now into the Chile area. This area has seen some deeper, smaller quakes over the last, uh, last 36 hours or so. Uh, some of that overnight, it looks like. Also along the Costa Rica area, looks like some threes popping up there as well. So things kind of... Uh, I don't know if we're back into the teeter-totter effect over here along the west coast and the uh, eastern plate, eastern Pacific plate and adjacent plates yet, uh, but it might be something worth watching here. Considering, <clears throat> excuse me, this little um, dwindling of earthquake activity further west here along the, the uh, Pacific plate, western Pacific plate. All right, uh, let's check out Southern California here. Uh, still watching this activity just on the North American side of the plate boundary around the Thousand Palms uh, Thousand Palms area of California did have uh, a couple more earthquakes after midnight within this little swarming area uh, Looks like we've seen uh, Well so far about 12 earthquakes a 3.1 the largest so far in that uh, cluster of little quakes again, it sits just shy of the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. Now this is a segment here 
that uh, they believe is capable, producing 8.1. Um, and that's, uh, well, it's been building up for quite a while, well over 300 years. Uh, so when it comes to swarms around this area, I kind of pay attention. Right now it's just a little minor swarm, but uh, definitely something you might want to keep an eye on. Also some activity here around the southern end of the San Jacinto Fault Zone. And uh, one earthquake on the Brawley Seismic Zone. That was coming in from last night. So we'll kind of keep an eye on that area today. See what uh, see what happens. Creeping segment of the San Andreas Fault here. That's from uh, most of this activity from yesterday. Bunch of little spotty quakes in the area. Long Valley Super Volcano. Couple more earthquakes overnight, looks like, near Mammoth Lakes. And what do we got for Northern Cal? Bay, Bay Area looks pretty quiet. Uh, typical movement around Clear Lake Volcanic Field and up here around the Northern California area. Still seeing a little bit of movement here into the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. 2.2. Tremor activity last night still showed some uh, movement down here into the southern end of the Cascadia. 156 epicenters of tremor. Notice Northern California still getting in on the mix there. Uh, and that is still adding strain and some uh, occasional earthquakes upstream here at the southern end of the Cascadia. 2.2, the latest at 25 kilometers deep. Uh, Pacific Northwest, not a whole lot popping off there. Uh, areas around Utah, Salt Lake City area. Looks like about five earthquakes or so over the last 24 hours. Just some uh, small ones. Yellowstone National Park. Got one little speck of an earthquake up there. Let's see what we got here on the live seismos. Uh, doesn't look like there's too much activity popping off here. A couple little spikes of an earthquake. Earthquakes, I should say, over the last few hours. But uh, overall, things look pretty minimal there today. Fairly minimal. Colorado. What's going on out there in Colorado? 3.1 late last night. Uh, looks like about six kilometers deep north of Trinidad and some activity down here into the western Texas area uh, a little bit from last night and this morning of course this area does see quite a bit of swarming out here in the uh, fracking in the oil fields out there in western Texas Oklahoma is filling in as well it looks like uh, looks like a little bit of activity uh, outside of Ardmore and up through the Woodward area. Nothing big going on, just a couple uh, little earthquakes. New Madrid zone, showing a little bit of activity overnight, looks like. A uh, 1.8 coming into this area of Missouri. Uh, looks like about 9 kilometers deep or so for that region. Eastern portion of the country, quiet. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, or Another active area is over here around the uh, Dominican Republic. Um, 5.0 coming in early this morning, about 3 o'clock or so. Also a little bit of activity stretching over here around the Cayman Ridge near the Cayman Islands. 4.4. Uh, they got this uh, set northwest of Jamaica area. Now remember, I think, um, I think this might be a little telltale sign of some activity that we need to watch around the region when we see the swarming area go quiet. Uh, for whatever reason, it seems to uptick in the areas outside of the Puerto Rico area uh, and also up here around the Puerto Rico Trench and the subduction zone here to the east when this activity calms down. Uh, this is normally swarming with at least, I don't know, it could be anywhere between 20 and 50 earthquakes in a day. And it's been going through these odd little phases of quiet spells and then with a broader area of earthquake activity around the Caribbean plate so kind of a I'm gonna watch that closely see what's uh see what's playing out here either way definitely a noticeable uptick here northern uh, section of the uh, Caribbean plate There's an activity in South America, a couple earthquakes it looks like uh, overnight as well, including uh, 4.6 there into the Peru area, portion of the Peru-Chile Trench. Uh, not too much going on out there in Hawaii. Got uh, one little earthquake outside of Mauna Kea, but this one's uh, relatively 
Yeah, it's not super deep, but it's down there a little bit, about 13 kilometers for a 2.4. Most of the activity confined to the Pahala area. And even so, this one's um, not a big swarm day. It looks like about nine earthquakes or so in the Pahala area. Up north into the Alaska region, yeah, it looks about the same as yesterday. <laughs> Keep saying that because uh, it's pretty much the exact identical areas getting hit with uh, some smaller quakes. Not seeing anything major going on. No unusual movement up there. This is a 2.5 map and above to see uh, a little bit of activity here in the subduction zone. Major subduction zone sits down here south. All right, uh, let's see what else we have across the area. Uh, I think that's about it for the most part. Uh, space weather activity. We did see a little little sea flare pop up overnight, looks like. This little guy right here, 3.5. Well, they got it set as a C3.7. But, uh, and it looks like it was coming from a uh, far side sunspot over here, potentially. Because any of these sunspots that are currently facing us, they don't look like they harbor any... Uh, any threat for any flaring. In fact, this has been lowered a little bit uh, for the solar flare threat. 75% chance for a C flare, M flare at 10, X flare around 1%, probably less than that. And uh, a look at these current sunspot features. Don't, uh, don't look all that impressive, do they? Maybe watch this, this little region right here. Uh, it is a well, a newly named sunspot. It looks like it may be getting a little complex structure here. We'll keep that uh, in mind on the update later on this evening. Uh, see if it grows in it anything worth watching. Otherwise, um, yeah, it looks like a pretty quiet day there on the sun. Alrighty, have a good one, folks. Going to get started on some more schoolwork here. Live stream, of course, is up and running, and we will chat you guys a little bit later on this evening. Have a great day. Peace out.